Here are some notes about the wiring on the Voron 2.4 with the Fistet uh, Spider version 1.0 and the Fermiolabs wiring harness on the Voron 2.4-300. So our main power inlet is right here. This top one, uh, in the case that you mount it this way, uh, is going to be your line and the bottom one's your neutral and this is your ground. Those wires come over here and then we split off with a ground and a neutral and those run down to the bed. I say down because the thing's upside down. It's actually up, I suppose. So the line, bring a line off of that, you can see I've got two wires per terminal. That one comes over to the solid state relay. Bring a line back from the solid state relay, <clears throat> back down through the hole, and that makes your line neutral and ground for your bed. The blue and black wires right here lead over to our spider board, and our spider board has the blue and black wires right over here for the bed control. Main power is two sets of wires. It's these four, uh, black, red, black, red. <coughs> they lead over to the LRS 200-24, and we've got two pluses and two minuses wired up just like that. We also take off um, Pi Power and UART from the Spider, and I've got those wired up with some heavy gauge wires for low voltage loss, so our Pi has good power. And they come over here, spliced back over to here. Um, make sure your color code and your pinning and everything, plugging orientation, look like that over there, <clears throat> and they look like this on your Pi. Very important. The cable, I think, is backwards on one end versus the other. There's also a USB going to one of my cameras, and the other USB is the all-important communications cable to the spider. So the spider sends power to the Pi and then receives data back on the USB-C, not on the same connector. We have our motors, and our motors are lined up as follows. X and Y are A and B. Z1 is our first Z motor, which I think is like called like 00. Maybe that's actually like a front left, back right, something like that. You can look up the data for that. Uh, E1, E2, and E3 are the remaining Z motors. <clears throat> E0 here being the actual extruder motor. Make sure to have this jumper in the position shown, which is going to give 24 volts for your probe. And make sure to plug your probe into Z plus, not Z minus. Z minus has this blue and black wire, which are different than the other blue and black wires. It runs through the gray cable and goes toward the bed, down through that hole, for the bed temperature sensor. We have down here uh, E zero, and we've got fan zero and fan one. Those all go through the wiring harness. <clears throat> I guess um, they use a little bit different color, sorry, um, nomenclature between the spider and the Fermio Labs wiring harness. So you can see that sort of equivalency table right here. Uh, PT is actually fan zero or fan one. There's actually two different connectors, both marked with the same designation. Not sure why. Also for those, uh, you'll want to make sure that these jumpers are in these positions um, in order to send um, 24 volts to your fans. Assuming you have a 24 volt fan system like the spec Voron should be. And that is about it. There's a couple of other jumpers over here. I think they're all set just fine, but you can take a look at that and make sure that yours match. I'm not doing any RGBs, <clears throat> so I did not check into what direction those need to be. Um, I did check on the UV 5 volt. Uh, that, that jumper's in the down position. And you should be set.